Six News has been reaching out to people on campus to hear their stories of survival. And one man we spoke to says he was standing right next to one of the victims when he was shot. Darlin Horn talked to him today. She's here for now with more on their heartbreaking conversation and she joins us live from the campus of MSU. Darlin, what did you hear from him today? Yes, Siobhan and Sherry. So the man we spoke with today is indeed a survivor. He says he was very shaken up during our interview today because the gunman actually pointed directly at him before he fired off shots and he actually did fire off shots. Now during our interview today, right in the middle, we found out exactly who the victims who died in the shooting were. And unfortunately, one of those victims was his coworker. Like, if I don't move, like, right now, I'm going to get shot. A harsh reality, but says he's thankful he's here to tell his story. None of us knew that there was even a guy with a gun in there, like, until, like, we did know. Jackson is not a student at MSU, but has been working in the Union Cafeteria Kitchen on campus since January. On Monday, around 8 p.m., he realized it would not be a normal night of work for him and his colleagues. And they thought a balloon had popped. Then the gunman, Anthony McGray, barged into the cafeteria. I, I honestly do think he shot at me and missed. As everyone runs for cover, Gibson debated on running back. And because I thought of my coworkers and I was like, oh my God, like they're still in the kitchen. Like what, like, I don't know. I was just like wanted to go back, but then a student grabbed me and he was like, dude, no. The names of the victims who died last night, Alexandra Verna and Brandon Frazier, were released right in this moment during our interview. His girlfriend breaks the news to Gibson that Brian has died. It was Brian. Brian's the one. I don't know if I want to talk about this then or That's if this is I like, I was hoping that Brian was okay. Gibson says he hasn't gotten sleep since the shooting, and even though he's still here, he can't help but grieve for the victims affected. I don't know why I didn't get shot. Like, I don't know, like, why. You know what I mean? Because none of us deserve that. Now, as you can see, we're at the Rock here on CMU's campus, and students are still lining up to pay their respects to the victims that we lost last night. Now, as far as the story we're talking about right now, Gibson says the cafeteria where he works the back door of that place is always open, open, and that is likely how the shooter got into the building and did what he did. Now, we will keep you posted on air and online as the story continues to develop, develop but in the meantime, I'll send it back to you guys. Here in East Lansing, Darylin Horn, 6 News.